This one looks good. This looks nice. Some good ones in there. Oh yeah. What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another video. Today, we're going out crabbing. Me and my buddy Adam, he's driving the boat right now as we're heading out of the harbor. It is absolutely beautiful. It is a gorgeous day. It's supposed to be like two and a half feet every 10 seconds on the inside, three and a half feet on the outside. So super calm day. We're gonna try and get some big Dungeness crab. We got all kinds of different baits. Got some uh, rockfish, some herring, some squid, some old scraps. We're gonna see which bait does best today, but we're gonna head out there right now. See you guys in a little bit. All right, right now we're in 120 foot of water. So we're gonna drop the first pot here. We're gonna drop another one at 100, another one at 90, another one at 80. We're gonna see which one has the most crabs. We got a bunch of different kinds of baits. I think in this first one here, we're gonna go straight squid. The Sea Wave calamari dinner for the crab. That's where we're gonna go in the first one. We're just gonna load this thing up. So in that bag, I'm also putting a little bit of anchovies. These are just some anchovies that went bad from some halibut fish in the earlier this year. We always save any of our bait. We don't throw it away. Got a coffin freezer. Keep it all, it's great for crab bait. So that's what we're gonna do in the first one. I'm gonna drop this down here in just a second. You guys, I changed my mind. I'm gonna go out to 130. I just have a good feeling about the deeper water today. The squid anchovy combo is gonna be loaded down. We're gonna pull a limit, one pull. There she goes. The next one, I have a bunch of frozen herring that we caught earlier in the year. If there was a herring spawn, we cast netted from the shore. Got a bunch of these guys. It's all in this bag here. Load it down with some herring. Look at the size of some of that herring. We caught some jumbos when we were out there cast netting. Right now it's 1137, so we're gonna come back for that first pot at 1237. So that's a nice bag of some herring. Put a couple more in there and set her down. This one right here is full of three or four rockfish heads slash carcasses. Um, some rockfish meat in there from when we went rock fishing earlier this year. We're gonna send this one down at 90 feet. All right, sending this one down. All right guys, in this last bag, what we're gonna do, I have some halibut here that went bad. So I put in some Ziploc bags, put it in the freezer. We're gonna burn some halibut. Got some more cut bait. We're gonna put in that one there too with the halibut. Comment below which one you guys think is gonna do the best. I kind of feel like that squid out deep is gonna do the best for us. It's gonna be a one puller and done kind of situation. Dropping this one down in 80 feet of water. So we just dropped the fourth one in the water. It's 11.55. We're gonna wait about one hour to pick up the first pot out there in 130 foot of water. But right now we're just gonna chill. We're gonna kick back, eat some snacks, and hopefully on the first pull it's loaded with 20 crabs and we're going home. If you guys didn't watch our last video, this is a wrap systems pipe and it's for fighting tuna, but we're using it to pull our nets today. I'm gonna show you guys kind of what you could do with the tuna if you're fighting tuna. So the idea guys is you can get up here, instead of having to kneel down on the rail like a lot of us have been doing, you see in our video, you can stand up here and you can crank down on that fish and you can really pull into them and have a lot more stamina up here than being on your knees. This thing's really cool. Check it out, Wrap Systems, give Joe Russo a call. Right now it's one o'clock, we're gonna go pick up the first hoop net. Hopefully it's loaded down. We got our first net right here. We're gonna pull this one up. Oh man, that's a workout. It is a workout. I'm dying, dude. <laughs> because it's full, right? Because it's full. It's because it's full. It's dogging you. It is dogging me. Well, we got color. Looks like there's some crabs in here. All right. That was a struggle for me, boys and girls. That one is keeping for sure. That is a big one. Easily over seven inches. I think this one should keep too. That one's keeping for sure. Short. And another short right there. I think we're gonna drop this one right back where it was at. We got four keepers in there right there. One studly one. 
I'm gonna put a counter up on the top of the screen, left or right somewhere. But this was the squid anchovy combo. We got four keepers out of that one and uh, three shorts. Drop this one right back in the same spot. Adam's first pull. Oh, this one's heavy. This one's loaded. It's loaded. Keep pulling. It's loaded. It's got to be loaded. We got some crabs. Yeah. We got some crabs. We got some crabs here. There are a couple of keepers in there. That's a nice one. That one's keeping for sure. There we go. That one's keeping. One. That one might keep back there in the corner. Those two are shorts. Yeah, move it out. That one might be close, I'd measure. That one's keeping. Six. That be close again, too. That one's keeping, too. Yep. Seven. There we go. Seven crabs. Two, one. two pulls. Three keepers, four shorts in this pot. We're going to send this pot right back down to where it was at, I think. I'm down for that. Got seven. Then in her back. How was that, buddy? We'll buy a puller. <laughs> All right, you guys, that was on the total herring. So it seems like up here where we're at, it's pretty good on the crabs. We had, I think, like seven or eight crabs in each of those three keepers, four keepers. We're gonna head into the next one right now. This is the move right here. You sit down, put your legs against the gunnel, and pull. Come on. Color. Color? This Color. one's got some crabs in it, boys. This one looks good. This looks nice. Some good ones in there. Oh, yeah. We got some jumbos in there. That one's keeping. There's eight boys. Another good one, nine. Another good one right here. Ten. Oh yeah. Eleven. Twelve. Thirteen. Fourteen. Fifteen. That one is just short. Just short. It's about fifteen. Throwing that one back. That was a good little haul right there. We're gonna go to our last pot. I think we're gonna have a limit in four pulls. That's not bad. One drop and then a limit. Dropping this one back down. This is gonna be a season ender, boys. This is gonna end it all. We got thirty pounds in here, crab. Look at oh! Oh, it's loaded! Empty, huh? No. It looks good. <laughs> Getting worked. That's the way to go, though, huh? Then standing up, pulling? Yeah. It's a little bit easier. No color yet. Face of determination. Four, maybe? So, oh, maybe we got it. We'll see. Let's see. We need five. That one's gonna be close. That one's real close. Uh, no. Just a short, just short. That one's going back. Yeah, that one's keeping. 16. That one's keeping. Keep. 17. That's a real good one right there. 18, hold that one up, 18. And then that one right there is gonna keep, let's be 19. That one's keeping for sure. 19. All right, there we go, there's 19 crab. Well, you guys, right there in four pulls, we had 19 keeper crab and probably 30 to 35 crab total. A couple ones that were really close, but we got all the crab on these Pitbull Tackle hoop nets. We got them over at Outdoor Pro Shop. It's really cool because they can pre-rig everything with the buoys ready to go for you with the ropes, with the line. It's a great price. You know, we've had some guys in the comments saying that the Promar ones are better and 
I couldn't tell you because I've not had a comparison, but what I can tell you is in four pools, we got 19 keeper crab for two guys. We've only been out here for an hour. We just about have our limit, so it's a pretty awesome day. We're gonna go pick up that last hoop net right now and get our 20 crab. So you guys, in one of our crab videos, it was, we went bluefin crab combo. We totally sucked. We only caught nine crabs. Some of you guys were in the comments saying that we'll get better at crab. I think it's safe to say we're figuring it out. We're figuring out how to catch the crab. We got 19 in the boat. Big old Adam's going to pull the last three pots because I'm tired. He's not. I'm going to help. But I think that's going to finish us off here. Heave. 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 This is really the way to do it. Get that wrap system things up there. Oh, yeah. This was the one that was 130 feet out. Color? No. No way. <laughs> <laughs> really? Color! Oh, yeah. There she is. This one's right here. Probably the biggest one of that one. That's a jumbo right there. That's number 20. We still got two more nets to pull. I'm gonna show you guys just to see how many are in there, but that is 20 right there. To be honest with you, it's gonna be really hard to say which bait was the best, which depth was the best, because they all kind of did pretty good today. So sometimes maybe it's just the spot you're at in general, rather than the bait. Hard in the work there. This one might have one or two. Three more in there, right there. We got one more net to go, but you know, we didn't really let these ones soak very long, only 20, 30 minutes. Oh, it's loaded again. I can't do this. I'm done. I'm buying a puller. Can't do it no more. Ugh. Is it full? It might be, dude. Well, I'm getting tired as the day's going on, but it might be full. Oh, color? No. No way. Color! Oh, took me out. Took me out. I don't know if you guys can see this, but the tide is like, it's ripping right now. So that doesn't help to try to pull a net through the water. There's three more keepers in there. We gotta toss them back. I think overall in the day, I don't know, what'd you say, Adam, 40, 45 crabs? Oh somewhere, yeah. Somewhere in that range. Easily probably 30 keepers, eight pulls. The last four pulls, but they only soaked for 20, 30 minutes. So that's not a bad day at all. If you guys didn't watch our last video, we said if you commented the word done, we were gonna pick one of you guys. The winner from last video, his name is Kai Hoffman. We're gonna take him out on the water. So Kai, we're gonna be reaching out to you to see when we can bring you out on the boat. But that's where we're gonna end the video. Awesome day of crabbing, me and Adam got I don't know, at least 25 to 30 keeper crab. Not very many pulls. These pit bull tackle hoops were absolutely awesome today. So we're gonna head in. This will be the end of the video. We're gonna cook up this crab. Thanks for watching. See you guys next time.